Okay, here's another question. It's back to forgiveness because I think uh, I think forgiveness is uh, uh, always going to roll in here. And it really, there's almost two questions, several other questions here. They ultimately come down to um, one of the statements was, uh, and I won't, I'm going to just try to make this gender neutral. Uh, how do, how do I get? I've asked my spouse for forgiveness, but they don't seem, they say they've forgiven me, but they don't seem to have forgiven me because they always want to talk over it. So that's the person who's obviously, they're needing the forgiveness. They want the forgiveness. But then there are also other questions is how do you keep forgiving over and over again? And so let's talk about the forgiver and the forgive e in a situation, all right? Um, so let's start with the forgiver. If you were having to forgive someone else of something pretty big, and I think that's what we would assume, or if maybe if it's not big, it's just constant. It's just, uh, I'll never yell at you again, but I'll yell at you again. I never, maybe sadly, you know, hit you or, or strike you. So if you are the forgiver, give us some parameters. You're forgiving something big, an affair, uh, Verbal abuse or something ongoing. Give us, give us some thoughts on being the forgiver or the person who forgives. Well, I mean, like you were saying earlier today, I mean, that's a hard spot to be in. It's not just going to happen automatically. And I think one of the hardest parts about it is the person who's wanting to be forgiven wants it to happen immediately. Yeah. And it's just not going to happen immediately. And that person who has uh, been wronged, they're going to want to talk about it. And, and so sometimes the other person thinks, okay, well, you're not really getting over it. You said you forgive me, but you're still upset. Well, it's going to take them a while to get over that. We want it to be like if you had a balloon, we blow up a balloon and you pop it with a needle. That's, if, if you've offended somebody, that's how you want it to be over. You want it to be just popped. Right. In reality, what's going to happen is we're going to slowly let that air out. Uh, and so you're going to have to give some grace to that person uh, who uh, has, has messed up. Uh, you're going to have to give. You're going to have to give grace to each other because this is a process. It's it's not something that's just suddenly going to happen. Uh, so it's you know it's not easy. But I see it weekly, and and the person who has wronged someone say, see there, she's just sitting there. Look at her. She's still mad. And so I say, okay, ask her what she needs when she's mad. If she's hurting right now, what does she need from you? She might say, I need a hug. I need you to come sit by me. I need you to hold my hand. I need you to pray with me. But it's not something that's just suddenly going to happen. So you have a part in that. You know, you both play a part in that. And, and I've just seen great things work if you're both willing to do that. But if one or the other is holding back and just blaming everything on the other one, you're not going to go anywhere. I don't know if that answers. No, I, I think so. I, they just... Forgiveness questions come up all the time, and so I yeah. think any should. You got any thoughts on, we're talking about the forgiver, the person who, who, who's offering forgiveness. You got any advice on how they can do it better? I just think be authentic. If you're asking forgiveness, then mean it. Uh, let your actions show that you mean it. Let your words show that you mean it. Let your behavior show that you mean it. So if you're the forgive e, that's the forgive e. That's all right. <laughs> Sorry. No, that's good. So authentic. <laughs> let your words, let your, uh, your actions. I know I'm show getting those two confused. Yeah, yeah. forgiver, well, we forgiving. About forgiving. You know, I, you and I, I don't know that I, 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 don't, I don't, yeah, we switch. We're talking about forgiveness. But we here. forgive we, you. Yeah, we, we do. Thank For you. For messing up the whole skit. Right. You know what's kind of interesting is, um, as I think, and I just, I just got this, the, you know, the story of the prodigal son. Okay, we always use it, and we always focus on God's love for us, right? Uh, that man, and, we all, and then we always think about that prodigal son <laughs> who comes back. You know, I think it's interesting. Not only did God forgive him, and this, I think, in marriage is the big struggle. If someone is the prodigal and they come back, we verbalize, I forgive them. But remember what the father did. He elevated him back to his previous position. And I think there's a lot of times when someone goes and messes up, we forgive them, bring them back, but we keep them down here. Does that make yeah. sense? Right. And, and I, think, I think if we're really going to use that, the father took the son and elevated him back to the position he was. Now, that's a hard thing to do, especially if you're the one that's been offended. But 
that would be my encouragement because clearly some of the questions I'm trying to forgive, well, part of truly forgiven is to elevating them back. And you know what? And sometimes that means you're probably going to expose yourself to the potential of getting hurt again, which, which is the most painful thing about being hurt in the first place. And so I would encourage you in your mind, if you're the one that is the forgiver, go, go to Luke 15. And don't just, don't just be the father expecting that person to come back. If they have come back in words and actions and deeds, make sure in your mind that you're not making them feel like they're lower than you because they stepped out on the friendship or they stepped out on the marriage. Elevate them back to where they were before. Any, any thoughts on yeah, that? Yeah, I, I see that a lot. Where And somebody might not, they'll say they forgive, but they constantly poke back at them, and they're using that as a tool to get back at that person. So they're using it as a tool to punish them. They really haven't forgiven them, you know. That's different, though, like, because a lot of times they'll want to talk about it. Well, if you want to talk about it just to punish somebody and remind them of what they did wrong, that's not healthy. But if you want to talk about it because it's hurting you, maybe you've watched something on TV and it, spur some thing in your head, you know, and you were like, oh man, that reminds me of what happened, and you want to talk about it, that's different. So I think you have to look, too, at the motive of why you want to keep bringing that up. Uh, and then just holding on to that anger, you know, sometimes people say, well, I don't want to forgive him, he doesn't deserve to be forgiven, you know, and there's that saying that holding on to anger and withholding forgiveness is like swallowing poison and expecting the other person to die. We believe that, you know, we're hurting them, and in reality, they're out with the guys having fun, or they're at a game, or they're doing this or that, and we're the one home suffering, you know. So when you let go of that, it's not just for the other person, it's, it's just as much for you. Very good. Hey, and you can go back to what you said, because the person who has, who has committed the sin, who has hurt the relationship, needs to be authentic, you said. Right. And, and make sure that what they say is matched by what they do and how they live and how they act. So if you truly want forgiveness, there'll be a change be, that so. takes right. place. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Good. good. Any relationship is defined by vulnerability, wouldn't you say? Yeah. And so um, if you are having to forgive, you're putting yourself again in a vulnerable yeah. situation. Right. And I think the damage comes when you're no longer willing to be vulnerable and forgive like the way it should look. And sometimes with that, I'll, I, if they're having a really hard time forgiving, I'll just say, do this for the relationship. Right now, you're not wanting to do this for him or her because you've been hurt so badly. But is your marriage important to you? Do it for that. Ah, that's good. And your kids, yeah, do, do the relationship, okay. Very good, hopefully that'll help.